Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So Halloween is in three days and I feel like it's only right for me to make some sort of Halloween collage. Now, I don't wanna make something bloody or gory. No, 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 that's not me. But I do wanna make something creepy, something paranormal, witchy, maybe something with a full moon, that kind of vibe. But before we jump into this week's collage, I did wanna share the collages I made last year in the week leading up to Halloween. Last year on Instagram, I did a series of collages leading up to Halloween of these ladies with either spiders or snakes. And it was just kind of a fun little series to, you know, count down to Halloween. There's a few missing because I had friends who liked them and so I sent them the collages. But I thought this was a really fun series and they go together really well. And then the YouTube video that I made last year um, was this, you know, this, uh, group of bats flying out of this lady's face. If you want to watch that full video, it's on my channel. But let's jump into this year's collage. <laughs> I found lots of stuff I really like. Let's go through quickly and then I have one idea that maybe we'll do. So I found this rainbow with these bison. Thought that was a cool background. Something about these flowers I just thought were really creepy. And then even this jackrabbit is kind of creepy. So I don't know, I kind of like those. Uh, there was this like ancient um, gold jewelry that I just thought was really cool. There's some really cool detail on this chain and these like pendants. So maybe we could pull those off and put that on something. Also, I really loved this, kind of looks like an eye. Really loved those. There's this house, which I just, I ah, thought I like the colors of it. I just think the house is kind of cool. Uh, there's this really creepy spider, like really, really creepy. Um, oh, this illustration of a heart. I liked that and thought that was kind of interesting. And oh, okay, these hands, I absolutely love these hands. I don't know, there's just something about them. They are so cool and I really, really love them and I really want to use them. So I think I might try to base the collage around that. And then, oh, this is just like a background of like water droplets on a spider web or something. I just thought this was a really cool background. So what's my idea? Okay, these hands I absolutely love. Now, I think it would be cool if I could somehow separate the hands. That may or may not work, not sure about that. But if I could fit the house in between the hands, so we like separate the hands and then the house, the hands will be sort of like grasping the house. I think that would be really, really awesome if we can make it work. And then I like the idea of pulling out some of these like gold accents and maybe like dangling them off the house or maybe coming up from the ground because the arms are like cut off down here. So I'm going to have to have them coming out of something. I guess they could come out just at the bottom of the page, but I like the idea of them coming out of maybe like water or something where they're like coming out of the space. And maybe we can incorporate these flowers because again, I just thought they were like kind of creepy and they might look cool in the background. So those are all the things that I was just drawn to when I was flipping through those books. Now let's start cutting stuff out, start layering them and see what we can put together.
Okay, so I'm really nervous to separate these hands, but I think the house is like the perfect height, just enough to like cover up what's gonna be missing. I mean, I, this front finger is a little bit tough because it's gonna be missing, and so there might be a gap here on this back finger, but I think it will be all right. Maybe I can move the finger down a little bit. I just want this to work so badly. I think we just have to do it. There's no looking back. We just have to do it. So I'm loving this. I just am not sure what kind of background we're going to need for this. Like, you know, it would be cool if we had a landscape that had like two lakes. And if we cut the lakes out and the arms were coming out of the lakes. But how am I going to find two lakes in that perfect position in a background like that? It seems like it's going to be hard. So I'm not sure. I mean, I guess we could just put it on like something like this and they're just coming out of the ground. But I don't like that as much. I don't know. I feel like we need something bigger. I don't know. I got to go look. So I found two backgrounds that I think I can merge to create sort of more of what I want. So I love this full moon, absolutely spooky, so creepy, exactly the vibe I want. And then I also really love these stacked mountains. So I think I can cut this mountain at the top here and pair these two together. So we have the full moon, but also these mountains. And then we can use the mountains to sort of block the hands. So one hand can maybe come up from here. Another can come up from back here or down here or something. And then the house can sit maybe up here. So I think that might be a good way to get the hands sort of in the scene, like they're coming out from between the mountains. So once we get the background all set up and on the background, I want to add some of these gold pieces because I think that will just add to like the whole sort of vibe of the piece. So I think these will be a really cool accent. So I want to get those on after. And then we'll see what it's looking like and see if we need to add more or what. So let's do those things. Okay, so I have four of these like gold chain thingies with these pendants and I kind of want to see if they add something. I'm thinking two on each side. So there's like four on each corner. Oh, sorry. One on each corner of the house. Um, and they're just kind of like dangling down. So let's see what these look like. might be a little bit too many and it is starting to feel a little cluttered hmm so maybe we just do two maybe we don't use these at all I kind of think I thought it was gonna look different and I don't know if I like the tassel thing. I feel like it's taking away from the main focus, which is just the house and the hands. So maybe we don't even need that.
I will save these for another project for sure because they are really cool. Hmm, I just remembered these flowers that I liked before that were kind of creepy. Do they fit in here? Hmm, I don't know. Now I'm thinking like I need to be careful not to like overdo too much stuff because I feel like it is taking away from the scene. Well, now I'm seeing this Arctic hair and I'm like, well, maybe the bunny, maybe the bunny should be being lifted up. That might be funny. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what the bunny looks like. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I tried it, but no, that this does not work. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Arctic hair, you have to go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stick to my gut call. Just this done. I like the hands, I like the house, I like where you have the full moon. There's a lot of cool things happening here and I just don't wanna overdo it. So I think I need to stop and we need to glue up what we have. There's fingers everywhere, but I'll figure that out. And then I think we're gonna have to chop a pretty good amount off the top and bottom. This is like very long. It's going like way off, way off camera. Um, so I'm gonna have to chop a lot of that, but I think that I'm very happy with this and I'm glad I got to use the hands cause they are just like so cool. So anyway, let's get this glued up. So this is the collage that we made today. I absolutely love it. I feel like it reminds me of that movie Cabin in the Woods. Uh, but I also feel like it would work as a movie poster for like any psychological thriller. And I absolutely love it. I'm just so happy. It's so good. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a happy Halloween and I'll see you next week for another collage video. Bye.